For me, watching the Tampa Bay Lightning and the way that they've played over the last month as the two-time defending champs, I think everyone was kind of curious, how would this team look this season without Yanni Gord, without Barkley Goodrow, without Blake Coleman, without Tyler Johnson? And the, the key answer is they haven't missed a beat. That team is seemingly phased by nothing. They've added Corey Perry, who's soon to pass uh, you know, the last four seasons that he's had in terms of productivity. And they're every bit as tough and difficult to play against. Their goaltender is still just as good. They've still got Victor Hedman. So I'm not willing to pass up uh, on the Tampa Bay Lightning and their, the idea of them three-peating. I don't know that people are looking at the Colorado Avalanche necessarily. Everyone in heading into the season certainly was uh, as a true legitimate Stanley Cup contender. But they've actually been quite good. They're further down in the standings because people aren't sorting by points percentage. Still at the top of the Western Conference in terms of points percentage, they've played five or six fewer games than almost every team. They just need to get healthy. The, all the guys that they've missed in their lineup this year, and they've kind of all happened in bunches where a lot of them are out at the same time, that it's been tough to fully evaluate Colorado, but I think they're right there. St. Louis has taken some big steps. Vegas has gotten things in order and probably are only going to get better with Eichel. And the Florida Panthers are just a difficult team to play against. Who do you have? See, and I, I went with Vegas at number one over Tampa Bay for a few reasons. You mentioned Vegas. They're only going to get better with Jack Eichel. And the one caveat here is I would hope that they can make it to the playoffs or Vegas should be hoping they can make it to the playoffs without having to offload too much to stay cap compliant. But if they can, I mean, that's center depth where you're going Eichel, then Carlson, then Stevenson, then Nicholas Waugh. Like, that's four pretty good centermen. Their wing depth is good. On the blue line, they have three solid defenders and a number one goalie in Robin Leonard. And I just kind of look at that and I go, what, what more could you want from a team? Like, if they can get to the playoffs with this current group that they have and everyone healthy, I think that's a team who, if they peak at the right time, I, I, I just look around, never mind the entire league. I look at the Western Conference and go, who's going to take down this group? So that's why I went with Vegas at number one, Tampa Bay right behind them at two, and then... You know, I, I was giving some love to the Rangers last segment, so I obviously had to work them in to uh, to my list as well in the five spot.